Hey right guys, Truthman's Joe here, and today we will... Fuck. Hey right guys, Truthman's Joe here, and today we're watching reacting to episode 14 of Team Wolf Season 5. Um, yeah, we've got Thea on my lap today, so if you hear like, uh, I don't know, barking, moaning the entire time, I'm not paying her attention, it's Thea. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm waiting for 5B to kind of get a bit interesting, as I said. Um, episodes, what, 11 and 12 so far have been okay but nothing great uh, on 13 as well sorry so hopefully with 14 you can really start to pick up because yes i am still evading but to be fair most people on the discord chat have said that episode 14 is where it kind of picks up i think it's 14 or 15 um which is nice but again it's just it doesn't i don't know make episodes 11 12 and 13 just kind of feel a bit pointless maybe um not pointless because obviously there is stuff in there that we needed to know um, but yeah, Kira's back with the main crew. She kind of chilled out with some skinwalkers last episode, which is all well and good, I guess. Um, nothing much to comment on from last episode. I just think the best parts of it were Styles and Scott again. Like, um, Scott and Styles finally just talking about the whole situation uh, around Donovan. Um, it's finally out there and it's done. Uh, so hopefully we can just move on from that now. Cause it, like I say, I wish they went a bit further with all that because it felt you're getting bored already, Fear. Well, go on then. Over you go. I wish they went a bit further with that, like with Scott going against Styles, but they kind of touched it a little bit, then they just didn't talk and now they've made up, which is fine. Um, but I just wish if they were going to go down that road, they really went for it and really had Styles and Scott just hate each other for a little while. Um, I wouldn't have liked to have seen it because it's like, I love them both, I like them being friends, obviously, but it would have been something different. And it just felt like they tried to do it and they didn't really go that far into it as much as I think they could have. So if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. If you are new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncut reaction to this episode, as well as all the rest for Season 5 and the rest of Team Wolf, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, um, as we talk about Team Wolf sometimes. Not, you know, sometimes not the nicest things. <laughs> uh, but follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, just because you know shenanigans. But for now, my friends, let's do this. Dude, fuck me. It's about time, man. Because the fact of the matter is, if they just, like, they've just left her there for so long. It's not been that long, to be fair. But, like, a friend of that much importance, you would just be straight on that. You know what I mean? Like, straight figuring out like, what to do. Um, I'll let him off with it, though, because it has only, only, like, been, what, four episodes, but still. Um, I don't know. They did. Oh. That's sick. Uh, so they're going to break right in episode 15, hopefully. Like, they're just getting straight on that. Because I know they've got other problems to deal with, but Lydia... Like, the fact of the matter is you shouldn't leave anyone behind, and they've always been going by that rule, so it's like, you, Lydia can help. And I think she's like she knows how to use a scream now, which I like, because, again, that was starting to drag out her whole... You know, learning how to use the Banshee screen to its full potential is like... If it went on an episode longer than this one, it would have been dragged out, but luckily... It was resolved in there. Um, episode 14 of season 5. Um, give me a second. Let me just double check. I think this might be the best episode we've had since... I want to say episode 4 of season 5. I'm going to check. Teen of Aleph. Because, uh, like, here we've got episode 13 was 6 out of 10. Episode 12 was a 5.8 out of 10. And episode 11 was a 7.2. Um... Yeah, I really enjoyed that episode. I think, so the two, we'll get the things I didn't like about it first. So, yeah, that was the best episode since episode four and the second best episode of season five overall, I'd say. Um, I'm giving this one an eight out of ten. Just an, just an eight out of ten, but I think it was pretty strong. Things I didn't like about it out of the way first. Um, the fact that Amelia even trusted Theo, I think, was ridiculous. Um, I know he's good looking and he's got his charms about him, but you just, you wouldn't trust him. So I thought Malia would be able to pick up on that scent and maybe like, just know that. I know he's like, he's, he's practiced not to like, have his heartbeat go and all this when he's a wolf, but it's, you just wouldn't trust him anyway. He literally killed Scott. Why would you trust him? And lo and behold, he was untrustworthy and betrayed her. So yeah, that was stupid. And I don't like the beast. I think it's shit. Uh, the... Even at the end of the episode, though, they were like, ah, the most vicious, vile, inhumane, the most brutal villain you're ever going to come across. The Beast, oh my God. 
But then when he was dragging Deaton through the water, he just grabbed his chair and was like, oh, come here, lad, come here. Couldn't even bust down the wall that quick. Like, she'd just pound through that wall. It'd be like one punch, bust through, and it's done. Rip Deaton's head off. Smack Lydia against the wall and tear her heart out. Grab Hermione Lodge and split her in two. If he did that, then I'd be like, okay, yo, the beast is pretty savage. But it didn't do anything. It just poked its head through a wall and went, what up? And then that was it. It just, that was the beast. Um, so yeah, the beast is dreadful. I think it's like the worst villain they've had. Let me think. Because the thing with season one's villain is it was a it was a nice, you know, start to the show kind of villain. Like it wasn't that big of a deal. It's just like, you know, a wolf who's a bit OP. Like it's an alpha, and it was um, Peter Hale, so it's someone we kind of well, we didn't know him, but we'd seen him. So that villain, even though it was bad, I think it was a good starting villain. Whereas season five seasons into the show, I think they should have a better villain than the bloody beast. And the fact that they've got that with the Dread Doctors and then the Desert Wolf, all three are shit. Theo is the best out of all of them. Um, and he, even he's not great. So season five is awful with villains. Um, and the beast was awful this episode. All right, things I liked about it though. Uh, Lydia's training, I mean, no, I don't like Meredith. And like I say, I'm glad they got it out of the way this episode. She knows how to use her scream now. Um, and like how she was like locked in that cell and she had to use the scream to help Malia and then she did and then they're all going to rescue her so Lydia this episode was probably the MVP she was just sick and um, that's the best episode Lydia had, has had in a long time um, the scene where Styles was even visiting Lydia mwah, was perfect I loved it I thought it was like Lydia's mum for a second because I was like I didn't think any of them even went to visit her but Styles evidently was the only one that went to visit her because apparently no one else cares about her uh, but yeah that scene was adorable when he was like when you wake up you can show me and it's like I don't ship him yet but I feel like if they just continue down a right track it'll be fine um, I, uh, I, I'm not even going to say anything about uh, thingy, about Lydia and Styles until the end I just I hope it doesn't feel rushed I hope it doesn't feel like crammed into the final season just because it's like the final season and it's what everyone obviously wanted. Like I say, I'm not I'm not against it like whatsoever. I just I'm curious how they're gonna go about it, um, and we'll comment on that when we know more. Obviously, well, we're not no more. Uh, Liam and Scott. I also love the scene where Liam was like saying how he doesn't feel like him saying sorry is enough at this point, which it isn't. I'm sorry. I still don't. I'm just still not like over that whole situation. The fact that Liam was being Marty in episode was it ten, um, the season five. Like I just, I know why he was like that. I know every single reason about the moon, about Hayden, why he's pissed. I get it, okay, but no. So I'm still not over that. But I did like that scene between Liam and Scott, um, and Malia. I'm kind of like mixed between. I think her story was kind of boring in the first half. Um, I do not give a shit about the Desert Wolf. I never have cared about the story about finding the Desert Wolf. I just, no, I don't care. Um, but her scene there where she was like fighting her, there was no slow motion for stars, which is just outstanding to see. They just had a a fight scene. They had a fight. It wasn't like the best fight scene I've seen in my life. It was actually not, it was actually not even that good. But just the fact that I had no uh, slow motion, I'm going to give it props for. Um, and yeah, L L Malia being the only one to even bother to try and save Deaton. Like I say, I don't know if Scott or anyone knew he'd even gone missing. Like, I must have missed that, maybe. Um, if they didn't know, then fair enough. But even then, you would have picked up on that. He's not at the vet. vet. <laughs> he's not working. He's not been seen or anything. So if they knew he'd gone missing and Scott never even bothered to try and find him, then that's a bit shady because Deaton's been there for him I don't know how many times. Uh, Kira did nothing. Uh, she just bimbled around. Her sword... I can't really say Kira was negative this episode because she had one scene and that was when her sword, like, dismantled itself. Um, and that wasn't even that bad. So, Kira, I can't count as a negative. So, oh yeah, and um, Mr. Argent was just... I love him. I love him. He's in my top five characters, I think. I think uh, just every time he's on screen, I'm like, what a badass. He just knows how to get shit done. I love him. MVP moment. I'm torn between Lydia saving Malia kind of in like doing the scream I wish she broke out or st I'm probably going to give it to this but uh Styles visiting Lydia in Icon House it was a cute moment I loved it um yeah I'm giving this one just an 8 out of 10 I think it was the best episode like I say we've had since episode 4 and it's the second best episode of season 5 so far 
So that's kind of sad because when you look at 3B and 4, they were getting eights all over the place. <laughs> there was like eights every other episode, whereas it's like to, to be episode 14 and it's only a second eight. Uh, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. There we go, guys. Finally, we had a good episode of Team Wolf. Finally. Fuck me. I took so long. Um, no Mason. No Liam and Mason bimbling around. No Liam like, oh, I love Hayden so much. None of that trash. None of like Scott being all like, oh, well, Stein, you shouldn't kill. <laughs> None of that. Thank you. None of Kira throwing her arms around doing shite. Thank you. Oh my god, it wasn't even like a, that OP of an episode. It just feels so refreshing to have an episode that was bearable to watch. Oh my god. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you do want the full Uncle reaction, a link to the Patreon page will be down below. And I will see you next time for episode 15. Until then, peace.